Have you ever wondered why two-stroke motorcycles emit white smoke? Well, two-stroke engines have their own special type of oil, which we call side oil. What is it called in your area? Feel free to write it in the comments. Unlike four-stroke engines, which don't have a side oil system, two-stroke engines require it. But why does a two-stroke engine need this special oil? Oil functions as a lubricant, whether it's engine oil or side oil. It serves the same purpose. But why is the oil in a two-stroke engine separate? To understand this, we need to take a look at the cylinder block design of a two-stroke engine. The cylinder blocks of two-stroke and four-stroke engines are very different. As you can see, the cylinder block of a four-stroke engine is smooth and flat without any extra passages. Meanwhile, a two-stroke engine has many openings. These openings serve as pathways for combustion materials to flow in and out. In a four-stroke engine, materials like fuel and air move through valves directly connecting to the combustion chamber. However, in a two-stroke engine, the crankcase is involved in the combustion process. Instead of air and fuel from the carburetor going directly into the combustion chamber, they are first drawn into the crankcase. When the piston moves downward, this mixture is pushed into the combustion chamber through transfer ports. After that, combustion occurs. Since the crankcase is part of the combustion mechanism in a two-stroke engine, it must remain clean and free of oil. If oil were present, it would be carried along with the airflow into the combustion chamber, quickly depleting the oil supply. But of course, the crankshaft and cylinder still require lubrication. That's why a secondary lubrication system, known as side oil, is used. This oil is specifically designed to lubricate the cylinder and crankshaft. So how does the side oil reach these components? It works by mixing with the intake airflow. The side oil tank is connected to a pump, which is driven by the engine's crankshaft. This means the pump's output depends on engine speed. Where does the oil go? The pump sends the side oil from the oil tank to the intake manifold. Just before entering the crankcase, there is a hose that releases a small amount of side oil, allowing it to mix with the incoming air and fuel. This means that the air-fuel mixture entering the crankcase consists of three materials, air, fuel, and side oil. As this mixture moves through the crankcase, the oil lubricates the crankshaft and cylinder. That's the basic concept. Some might ask, if side oil is mixed with the intake airflow, why not just use regular engine oil? Why does it have to be separate? The reason lies in viscosity. Side oil is made thinner, so it can easily mix with the airflow, while regular engine oil is thicker because it also lubricates the transmission. If engine oil were too thin, it would cause rough transmission operation. That's why two-stroke engines require side oil. Hopefully, this explanation adds to our knowledge.